that milkshake though. What's going on everyone? Dave K here today. Super excited to share today's adventure with you. Homecoming, heard it's some of the best food in Disney property, at least on Disney Springs. So definitely excited to check out Homecoming. Will it be the new best food on Disney property? Let's find out here today. Some delicious options on that menu, fried chicken and all kinds of other good stuff. Let's check it out. Another note on Homecoming here today is it can be a wait time. I'm not sure how long the wait time will be. We don't have a reservation. We've heard it's strongly recommended. So we'll have to see here today how long the wait time might be. If not, maybe we'll check out Deluxe Burger or something like that, but let's get to it. And walking through the sort of central area of Disney Springs here, if you know where I am, kind of by this area, just kind of walking straight down, it's supposed to be down that way to the left. I thought for a while that this right here was that Deluxe Burger building, but it doesn't quite look like it. I think maybe that's like a guest services building. Here's Pandora right there, Springs, maybe Boathouse up there. So again, gives you an idea of where we're at. Sprinkles, uh-oh. Gonna watch out for sprinkles right here on our right. But again, making our way down here, looking forward to some delicious food wherever it might be. And Mike's been saying we need to try Morimoto Asia again here. So Morimoto Asia coming up right by it. And here is the homecoming sign. So thanks for stopping by. Oh, this area is closed. Hmm, perhaps that's not homecoming or maybe it is homecoming maybe homecoming is closed or just this area maybe we can grab food and take it on the road but we'll have to see what things look like here today but definitely again heard morimoto is good at inside sit down dining so we'll have to try that again in the future maybe i wasn't the biggest fan last time but we'll see so homecoming is indeed closed that's what this sign is trying to tell us Close for a private event is indeed the restaurant, not just the area. So we'll continue to make our way around Springs and again, see if we can find something else. Maybe that deluxe burger or maybe something else. One option here today, we've got Paradiso 37. Actually a lot of look, great looking dishes here. Might just kind of be appetizer platter kind of place, but a couple burgers there as well. And I feel like I could probably go for a burger. You know, we're talking about deluxe, so we'll have to see, but nice to know this one's here. And there's so much I haven't been to, haven't, haven't seen here in Disney Springs, so we'll have to check it all out. Cool to see a variety of options as we're making our way. SDK over here. Look at the Edison. I love the kind of design of the Edison building there. And you've got Maria and Enzo's over there as well. It seems like there's a lot closed here today if we head in this direction, sort of towards Planet Hollywood. That's closed over there as well for some sort of private event. So not sure what's going on with that, but we'll have to see sort of what's open, what's closed, and where we can get to here tonight. And here's a closer look at that Paradiso 37 building here. Again, this is kind of the front side. Earlier we were on that other side, but again, making our way down to check out some of those other options. Nice to be able to just kind of walk around the springs here and check out all the sites and enjoy the vibe. Very crowded, it seems like, here tonight, too. Maybe it's just me. I'm more used to those universal crowds at this point, but definitely seems pretty crowded to me. Another one of my favorite spots here in Springs is this kind of waterfront view. You can see those little lights floating out in the water, kind of behind Planet Hollywood. There is Deluxe Burger. And you've got this Frontera Cocina Mexicana as well. So that might be one to check out one of these days. Again, looks a little bit crowded in that outdoor lounge. But there's so many things I have not tried here in Spring, so definitely nice to look at it all. And of course, on the other side, you've got our sprinkles and more of that lake view. I like it. And here's the inside of that Frontera Cocina Mexicana here. Definitely looks super cool. We're considering this option here. I want to take a look at the menu. I want to take a look at what the wait time might look like because it is pretty full in here again as well. But nice to be able to see sort of the ambiance here. I love this kind of sculpture. It looks like it's kind of built in there. You know, similar to a lot of those other murals with some tiles, a bunch of tile pieces put together. I love those lights hanging from the ceiling as well. Kind of an orangey, I guess it kind of looks like an aluminum foil or some sort of wrap like that, orangish. But it's really nicely colored, nice glow. Very nice sort of orange and blue vibe to the whole place. Really, really cool, nicely done. And I love the open sort of kitchen concept too, where you can see the work they're doing. Get the food picked up right here, nice to see. Just walked out of Frontera here. It is a 45 minute wait. Did some deciding there. I was tempted by it, a 45 minute wait for the bar on that one. So I'm thinking we're gonna go ahead and pass on that one and make our way to Deluxe Burger now. Definitely love. Also how these are kind of placed beautifully on the water. I do want to try this one right here at some point. Frontera Cocina sounds like a great one, but with that wait time, I'm not so sure. You probably do have to make reservations for that one. Again, kind of like homecoming, but we'll have to see. Again, check it out in the future, see what things look like. 
And here's a quick look at that menu from a Deluxe Burger. You can see a variety of burger options there. Definitely seems pretty reasonably priced, you know, in terms of pricing options. And you've got your shakes and a variety of kids' meals there too. We'll have to see what sounds good. Give it a shot. And check out the sauces here. You got horseradish, buffalo ranch, garlic ranch. And on this side, chipotle mayo, curry ketchup, and three mustard and honey. Definitely all sounds super unique. Excited to give them all a shot. And I got a couple of sauces here. You can see right here, we've got the chipotle mayo. I think that's gonna be the winner, I'm not sure. And this one is the buffalo ranch. And this one is the garlic ranch, I believe. So a variety of sauces there. And super excited to dig into the burgers here. We got one pepperoni pizza burger and one Diablo burger. So Mike and I are gonna split the two of those. It's gonna be great, so try a little bit of both. And a shake, got a cake shake, so definitely excited to give that one a shot here as well. Overall, definitely an exciting menu, a lot of cool options. Definitely love the vibe and the sauce options here too. So we'll see how things taste, but definitely excited to dig in and let you know what I think. And Mike went to pick up a pager for the mobile order. So put in the mobile order, then you go pick up a pager, and then I guess they'll page us when the mobile order is ready. But again, super excited for this. A lot of great looking options on the menu. If those shakes are good, we're gonna have to be worried here because this might be one of the best shakes on property. I heard Mike was telling me that he thinks it might be one of the best shakes on property. So definitely excited to give that one a shot. And those burgers sounds like great flavors too. The, the pepperoni pizza one is seasonal. So it's, it's got the pepperoni flavor kind of to it. You know, pepperoni is built in there and a lot of cheeses like a pizza. And that's a seasonal one. And then of course the Diablo burger, super spicy it looked like on the menu. So we'll see how they taste. Definitely excited to dig in. And a couple more of the sauces. Gotta try the set, of course. Here's the curry ketchup right here. You've got the horseradish. And then on the end, that's like the three honey and mustard, I think. I'm not sure if I'm gonna love all those, especially three honey and mustard, not so much for me. But this is the full set here. And Mike and I are gonna try a little bit of each just so we can all taste test them, see what we think. I'm definitely excited to give them a shot and let you know what I think of the sauces when we're waiting for that food. And we're sampling those sauces here. I've got the horseradish. See what we think of this one here. I've been weirdly liking this spicier stuff like wasabi, so I think the horseradish is pretty good overall. And here is the food. Uh-oh, the birthday cake milkshake, gelato shake there. We'll see what you think of that one. It definitely looks nice. And over here, you've got your pepperoni pizza burger, it looks like. And this one is probably that Diablo burger. So definitely excited to dig into all of them and let you know what we think. And definitely a nice sort of appeal, you know, kind of curb appeal, aesthetic to these burgers. We'll see how they taste. Just try the rest of those sauces too after we got our food. My favorites are the, I wanna say it's the Buffalo Ranch as well as that Chipotle Mayo. So I was right about that Chipotle Mayo, but surprise that Buffalo Ranch, both of them have a lot of kick to them too. So definitely a lot of strong flavors there. Garlic Ranch is good too. I'm not a huge fan of the curry ketchup or the mustard. I'm not really a mustard guy and the curry ketchup, I just feel like it's kind of strange. So definitely excited to dig into the food here, but I like all the sauces except those two. And definitely those two middle ones are the favorites. So definitely excited to put them on the burger and see how it tastes. And we just realized as well, if you're confused as to which burger's which, on the top, you'll see they've got little stickers, unique. That's super cool, El Diablo right there. And this one has seasonal on it because it's the pepperoni pizza seasonal one. Let's dig in and see how they taste. Nicely cut. Ooh, look at that bun too. It kind of looks like a cheesy, you know, cheese top bun versus the Diablo, just more of a regular bun. Ooh, I love how they've done that even to the bun to make the burger look great. So we just tried that pepperoni pizza burger and I love the idea of that one, but I feel like it probably could have used a little bit more flavor. It's got a good flavor. I like the tomato sauce and the cheese, especially in the dead center, in the middle of the burger's the best part. The edges, not quite as flavorful. Maybe it's because there wasn't as much flavor on that particular side I was eating from, but the middle's the best part. I think it could be more flavorful for sure. And Mike and I are on the same page, it sounds like, on that one, so definitely excited to try the other one. This is a good burger, but I wouldn't put it in the top five at Disney here. One other thing I noticed on this one here is I feel like maybe they use peanut oil. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I kind of, at the very beginning of the burger, at the very end, kind of the oil in my hand, kind of flavor of that, tasted like a peanut oil. So if you have any peanut allergies, make sure you ask them first. But uh, it was really unique. Again, I feel like really unique kind of flavor to it. It's a good burger, but again, not necessarily top five so far. Definitely excited to dig into that El Diablo and let you know what we think. So just tried that El Diablo burger and gotta tell you, it's, it's not a top five burger. I honestly, I thought the pepperoni one had even more flavor. Again, it's like 
I imagine El Diablo is gonna be super spicy, super flavorful, pepper jack and kind of jalapeno-y stuff in there. There's a lot of spicy stuff. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I was expecting a lot of kick to it, a lot of flavor. And I feel like this one's got even less than that pepperoni pizza, so. Good burgers, and I feel like the price is pretty reasonable too. In terms of burger options, I'm pretty sure it's cheaper than like that bison burger, that sort of thing. $12, $13, that sort of thing, which is not bad. But overall, I, I don't think it's a top five in terms of that flavor. I still love that bison burger in terms of that kind of blueberry flavor. That's a really great one. Contemporary Cafe has got a great one as well. So not top five. Good. Would I get it if I was in the area? Maybe. Sure, I'd try some other options. But I wouldn't put it in the top five in terms of Disney burgers. And Mike, what did you think of the El Diablo burger? And we may as well hear your thoughts as well on the pepperoni pizza burger. They were both good. Good burgers, not outstanding, not worth going out of your way for in my opinion. I had a barbecue burger here a little while ago. I can't remember how long ago it was, maybe a few weeks ago. It was amazing compared to these two. So it was really, really good, amazing burger. These were only okay. No, not top five, not even top 10 in my opinion. But you thought the barbecue one was maybe top five. Oh yeah, yeah it, it had it had reach, definitely. All right, which of these two burgers did you prefer if you had a big one? Probably pepperoni. Okay. I, I think so, just because it was more flavorful, it was a little bit more tender. Yeah, hard to imagine. So we're on the same page with that one. And what did you think about last time of the shakes? I know we've got a shake here. Oh yeah. Best shake. <sighs> One of the best shakes at Walt Disney World. I can't, you know, it's hard to say best because you know I haven't tried them all. But I'm super excited for this one. All right, if it's one of the best we've tried, I'm definitely excited to dig in as well. Milkshake. That milkshake though has some great flavors to it. Definitely enjoyed that milkshake here at Deluxe Burger. Got to tell you, it's got a, a perfect kind of smoothness. A little bit of whipped cream on the top there. Nice kind of flavorful cake flavor. Overall, I thought it was great, especially kind of at the beginning, that first sip of that cake shake was delicious. Definitely a fan. I wouldn't say it's the best shake I've ever had, but I wanna say at least so far, top five on Disney property, maybe even top three or number one. It's kinda of tough to remember which other ones I could compare it to. But you know what? I'm gonna let Mike know some other ones I had that are great recently and we'll see what he thinks. And Mike, what did you think of the cake shake here? It's amazing. I love it. I love it. That's, you come to Deluxe Burger, in my opinion, for the shakes. All right. Now, how does it compare to the last time you had a shake here? It's extremely good. They're both on the same level. The last one I ha had was like cookies and cream. I think it was the last one I had. That one probably was a little better just because I prefer that flavor more, but nothing. The, the cake one is nothing to shrug at at all. Gotcha. And I'm a cake guy, so I like cake flavors. Now, the question for you is, what would you say if I said that I had a better shake recently in the area. The one I can think of that was better is the cookie jar shake. I knew you were gonna say it. Emporium. I knew you were gonna say it. Yeah. My first impressions of chocolate emporium are not quite at your level. Mm -hmm. So you gotta we gotta go back. You gotta reintroduce me to it. Right. Next time we'll have to go in and know since I already know that cookie jar is the shake to get. We'll get that one next time so Mike can have the best shake. Again I haven't tried them all. I'd love to try more, but I know that one's a winner so we'll have to try that one next time. So I've got the cake shake in hand, but Mike had the idea for us to run off. We're out of Deluxe Burger now, making our way to Hollywood Studios. Gonna try a shake over there. Maybe one of the top three shakes. Mike thinks on property here as well as over at Hollywood Studios. So we'll see how that one tastes, see how they compare, see what we think. So you may be asking yourself, Dave, what, what happened here? I thought you were just doing a Disney Springs kind of night. What had happened was, I was talking to Mike and saying, where are your favorite shakes on property that you had? that you've been to because I didn't think we'd had shakes that were quite as good as some of the burgers we had. You know, I've really been blown away by some of those burgers anywhere from the Wilderness Lodge to the Contemporary Cafe and that sort of thing. And Mike's like, well, one of the best places is at Epca or at Hollywood Studios. And it was not just at the Sci-Fi Dine-In, but the other one was some lounge. He's like, oh, do you want to go there and try that and compare? I'm like, well, I guess we could do that, Mike. What inspired this idea here? The, the deliciousness of milkshakes. Right. But for me, I feel like we've had some amazing burgers on property. I feel like there have been some really amazing burgers where some of the milkshakes we have have been great, but not like as high of a league, as amazingly mind-blowing league as some of those burgers. So I feel like burgers kind of have that highest tier at Disney where I haven't been blown away as by as many milkshakes. Mike, your thoughts on that, do you agree with that? I do, in a way, but we haven't tried as many milkshakes, so there's there's room for us to expand our knowledge of these things. That's true, we'll have to see what things look like in the future. So that's what's happened, that's how we found ourselves coming to the parks here, is to try that other milkshake, but definitely excited to step back inside here. It has been a minute, 
Definitely nice to see Hollywood Studios. One of my favorite parks as well. Hopefully less crowded than I'm anticipating here today. I know a couple of people were commenting recently. It doesn't really seem like there's too much of a slow season anymore, which I guess is true as much as I hate to say it. So we'll see how crowded it is here today, but definitely excited to try it. Mike's, one of Mike's top three shakes, right? And we'll see how it compares. Yes, Mike, do you think it'll be better or worse than the one we just had? I'm hoping it's better, but we'll see. Okay. And looking at the menu here on the phone, Mike said, oh, let's take a look at the milkshake options. And just looking at this, looks like maybe they don't have milkshakes anymore. So is this just like a ploy to try to get me to come to the parks here or what's going on here? I was sure they had milkshakes. I was sure they had milkshakes. Right. They, they might be able to make us some behind the counter. Right. Back in Hollywood Studios with that holiday season over, of course. Nice to be back on the streets. Nice music. It's definitely loud, though. A little bit loud, so hopefully you can still hear me okay. Making our way to that shop now, see if we can get some shakes. Maybe we'll get some water at Starbucks as well. That'd be nice. Maybe a ride or two. I doubt we're going to do a ride or two, but maybe the Muppets. Who knows? You never know. I should mention as well that it's about 7.30 now, so you can see it's dark out, whereas the park closes at around 8.00. So chances that we catch a ride, maybe not the greatest, but who knows? So I had never noticed before, here's Tuna In Lounge right there, Tuna In Lounge, right next to the Primetime Dine and Theater. So we'll step inside of Primetime, 50s for Primetime Cafe. So we're stepping inside here and we'll see what the drink options are. Yes, here we go. So I'm noticing it feels a lot like the 50s prime time. Actually, right over there, you can kind of see it right through this area here. It connects right into 50s prime time. So it must be pretty closely connected. But they have four types of shakes here. Chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, and peanut butter and jelly. For So we're going for chocolate. But again, definitely has that 50s prime time feel. And it's got a, a bar feel too. It's a 50s prime time bar, which is an interesting combo. But we'll see how it goes. And you know it's that 50s prime time feel when you've got all those screens going on up there. Again, look at all those kind of TVs with the classic shows going on, Disney feel. And again, feeds right into the prime time, or the 50s prime time right over there. And here is the chocolate shake at the Tune In Lounge. You can see it's in this large cup here. So nice kind of a large paper cup feel to it. We got a second cup here so we can split them up. Let's see how this one compares. So overall thoughts on the chocolate shake here. I feel like it's okay. You know, it's super thick, kind of dense. It does have some nice kind of chocolate flavors to it, but don't love this one. Definitely uh, today, the cake one's the winner. And it sounds like Mike and I agree on that one. I also feel like I heard uh, peanut butter is the one to try here in the future. So I have to keep our eyes open for that one in the future. It's, it does have some good flavors, but also super thick. I think I like them a little bit more milky, a little bit more blended overall for shakes for me, but now we know. And now spending some time at this lake view here, you can see our favorite dino in there over by the water, the Hyperion Theater over there, and of course the sailboat, another restaurant we still have to try one of these days. Definitely lots to see in Hollywood Studios, but there is this sort of more lit corner we just came from, prime time over there. Gotta love that lighting on what looks like some sort of Star's Dine. I'm not even sure what that is, but it looks like a whole nother restaurant right over there, Hollywood and Vine. And now making our way in the direction of Toy Story Mania. Let's see if we can catch that one. I've got the shake here. I'm going to drink that in line. It sounds like about a 30 minute wait for Toy Story Mania. Nice catch an end of the night kind of closing to a ride as well. So let's see how that one goes. But again, love the lighting, the views here at night. Not as much holiday decorations as there were before, but still cool to see what it looks like. It is a little bit crowded by this outdoor showing, but since we can catch that in the other night, we'll skip it. And you can see they've changed the banners around here for Onward and for Call of the Wild here with Harrison Ford. Cool to see by this marketplace, making our way from Eumenisburg over towards that Toy Story Land. See if we catch it, only about five minutes left here tonight, so let's see how things go. And we're down to 15 minutes here at Toy Story Mania for our one ride of the night. Definitely love the look of the queue on this one, but I love the ride itself too, one of my all time favorites. Let's do it. A couple insider tips here. It looks like harder to hit targets are worth more. Kind of some fun games as well. Two infinity, two infinity and beyond. See that? Yes, I like it. All kinds of fun stuff here. So 
Check out this chalkboard for some great info and just look at the queue in general for some beautiful colors and a great design. Waiting here in the queue for Toy Story Mania. First time playing Hearthstone in the queue. Mike, are you ready for this matchup? I'm ready. All right, playing some Battlegrounds here. Definitely excited to get some gameplay going before we get some other gameplay going. Pal, love say, got me playing. Oh, what a treat. So sweet. Complete with Jesse, Bobby, Matt, and Stinky Pete. Hey, you're stepping on board as some of the last riders of the night here. Definitely excited for it. Let's see how this one goes. Nice job. Check out those scores. 291 and 293. Really, really good stuff. Whoa, got super close to my score there, too. Super close to catching him. I like it. Nice score. Best this hour. Love it. What a fun way to end the night here on Toy Story Mania. Super enjoyed and just finished this round at the same time. In second place, I like it. You can see the exit is a bit different here as well. It's interesting, the shop's not here on the side, but you've got puzzle pieces and a lot of scenes here with Woody. Bart will never get away. Bart, oh, nice. Um, interesting to see all the stuff. Oh, okay, this is the more typical exit here with this kind of circus feel, but I imagine that store is still kind of closed as well. Yes, yeah, typically come down that hallway, very nice. Making our way out now, I guess that's probably the closed store and was a fun night in Hollywood Studios, but it's time to call it. Making our way out now and look at, again, I love the lights here at night, but super intense matchup between me and Mike. That was the closest I ever got to his score on Toy Story Mania, only 2,000 points behind this time around. So you know I'm closing on Mike's score. This may be the last time that I lose to Mike in Toy Story Mania. Definitely looking forward to seeing those wins over Mike. What do you think about that, Mike? In your dream. You already know it happens on Buzz. Yeah, it happens on Buzz. Ah, you get, almost get that first room. It did go Lactic Hero, but not quite yet. I, I told you it happened, by the way. I meant that <laughs> it was going to eventually beat me at it. You know it making our way out of Hollywood Studios now. And again, beautiful night views here. That's the Hollywood Studio sign right there. Some lights kind of projecting up into the air in the background. Don't know how well you can see those here on the GoPro. I know it's a little bit tricky with the low light, but I like the stabilization on here. And, oh yes, probably get a closer look actually at Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railroad or where it's opening up. We saw a sign over here coming soon. Definitely excited to step on board that one when it opens. And here's that sign on the Chinese Theater. Coming attraction, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I love the animation of the Mickey here. Boarding March 4th. Definitely excited to step on board that one. Hopefully as soon as possible. I love that sign up there as well. You can see getting a closer look at the sign of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Definitely excited for this one. I, you know, I loved the last attraction that was here. I'm trying to remember. The Into the Movies. I'm trying to remember what that one was called. But the great movie ride. Thank you. Yes, but definitely excited to step back into this one as well it's got a nice feel to it again i love that design of the chinese theater with the great movie ride but love the idea coming for mickey and minnie's runaway railway love those animations those characters just like those animated series which i love too so we'll have to see how this one is when it opens up now heading towards the exit of hollywood studios again love the lighting here kind of the atmosphere at night with all those different buildings and shops lit up and i like that you can still go into a lot of these shops and do some shopping even after the park closes you know what else i'd like to see is if the dining venues would stay open a little bit later so you can still get food after the park closes because i feel like it'd be nice once you're done with the rise catch your food on the way out well starbucks water i guess we'll have to wait till next time to have some more of you until then, but uh, definitely going to make sure we're staying hydrated regardless here tonight. And again, look at these buildings as we're making our way down. I like it. Check out a couple of new lounge fly bags there as well. Incredibles. We got Mike here and Edna Mode. And there's no guest in this one, it's just Edna Mode. Looking around at some merch here. Nice to be able to take the time, check out some of these shops, and kind of conclude the night. Again, I like that the shops are open here even after the park closes. Love those ears for Toy Story as well, yes. I'm not too familiar with a lot of these hats either. Some really cool hats, look at that. M Mickey logo there, super cool one. You got What Up Dog right here with Pluto, I like that one. Disney Dad, Disney Mom, gotta appreciate those. And Jawsome, ooh, I hadn't even seen Jawsome here, look at that. Kind of several different types of material. This is kind of like a hard plastic. It's kind of like a cloth and then you got almost like a, I don't know, silicone or something in that mouth area, super cool. Love that one, I'm having a Dory moment, oh ho. 
Infinity and Beyond. So many cool hats. I hadn't seen these before. Look at that. Make waves with Ariel. Oh my gosh. Such cool merch. I guess it's been a while since I've caught up on a lot of the Disney hats here. Some really, really nice ones. I like it. Definitely cool to take the time and check it all out. Yes. And in the Magic Band section, Mike found what he's looking for here in the dark room. The Figment Slap Bracelet Magic Band. Mike, are you excited for that one? I'm excited about it. I'm glad you found it here. It looks like it's only just the one style, right? The Figment one. Yeah. But it's right here again in the dark room near all these other Magic Bands. So now we know Marvel. Oh my gosh, so many Marvel Magic Bands I've never seen either. You got Captain Marvel, you got a Thanos one. Super cool to check it all out here. And I like a lot of these as well. Look at this, Finding Nemo here and from different films. Oh my gosh, there's Edna with a uh, little baby right there, Baby Incredible. Some great ones. Oh, Star Wars Black Spire Outpost there as well. Such cool ones in the section Walt. Oh my gosh. I haven't, again, I haven't caught up on the merch in a while. Oh my gosh, check out this fuzzy stitch hat with the little cute arms here. Oh my gosh, I bet Michelle would love that one. The ears sticking off it. The whole thing is fuzzy, a little bit of hair tuft on the top, the ears, and the arms sticking off. I think that's one of my favorite hats here in the entire hat section. This is more character hat section. You got Oogie Boogie up there as well. But whoa, check out that stitch fuzzy with the arms. Super cute one. Love that one. And check out all these kitchen supplies here. We saw some of this at Disney Springs in the past as well, but I don't think we saw this little glove, which is actually an oven mitt there. Awesome, awesome one there. We did see a lot of these other ones at Disney Springs. You may have seen the Mickey, Minnie Mouse, that kind of thing. All these cool ones from the shop over there. But there's some new stuff here as well. I didn't realize this shop was so large here in Hollywood Studios. You got everything from mugs to pins to hats, anything you could possibly want. I don't know if I showed you as well this new 2020 mug. Check that one out. I like how it's got those kind of two finger holsters in there. You fit like two in the top hole and then one in the bottom one. Makes for a nice little kind of handy 2020 cup holder. I, I really like the design, the style of that one. Park Pals holds on to your favorite accessories. I'm not sure I've seen these guys before. A little cute little, looks like they're kind of squishy. Mickey there, and you got Simba. All kinds of cool characters there. Hang on to your stuff. I like it. And of course, around Valentine's season, you got to have your kind of Valentine's themed shelf here. Am I right? Everything from photo frames to magic bands, ears. Look at that pink flower ears. And you got just the red kind of classic shimmery ears and mugs. All kinds of nice stuff here for the Valentine's season. Definitely makes sense. And they've got sunglasses as well to different characters. I didn't even notice that. Look at that Spider-Man a little bit on the top. A little bit of BB-8 in there. R2-D2, Avengers, nice. And would it be Disney merch without the Disney jewelry? You've got your monthly necklaces there. You've got a different stone, crystal, depending upon your month of birth there. And then of course, Another side of the same thing. So here's a bunch of bracelets and cool jewelry like that as well. This looks like a series of different items on a bracelet or a necklace or something because I don't know jewelry whatsoever. Yes, that's right. Slinky Dog. That makes for a cool one. A ring. Slinky Dog ring too. I like how they went with that Slinky Dog theme and put them on everything. There's an earring for Slinky Dog. That's interesting. I wonder what this part, that must be the necklace. And those two are earrings. So they just went all in on Slinky Dog. I can definitely appreciate Slinky Dog as a character for going all in on. And there's a little alien there. Check out a little alien man on a necklace as well. And we've made our way out of the shop here. Definitely nice to check out some of that merchandise. And Mike decided to not get the slap bracelet. No, may change his mind some future night. Not so sure, uh, not, not tonight, but maybe a night when I'm not here. <laughs> All right. Cause, Cause I'm the one that tries not to spend so much. So you never know, maybe Mike will elect to go for that merch one night when I'm not here. But tonight I guess I've convinced him out of it. Oh, maybe I should be more open to Disney merch here, but you know, it's good to save. Make sure that we are saving and having enough for all the other fun things in life, like the annual pass itself. And that concludes today's adventure. Thanks for being a part of the fun with me here today. What did you think of today's adventure? If you liked it, make sure you have that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite part and what's your favorite shake on property, Disney or Universal or somewhere else in the Orlando area. Let me know, I gotta give it a shot. But maybe we should stick with the protein -y stuff instead. And if you haven't already, for more fun adventures, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell to stay informed. And until next time, play on. And that concludes today's adventure.